All right, Slack Wizard fans. The Happy Hooker. The first film in the trilogy. We're going to watch them all, but we'll start with the first one. Let's check it out. I can make you happy. I can turn you on. Movie starts in a police station, and these are hookers. And Lynn Redgrave as Xavier Alhambra, the happy hooker. See her backstory, she's just come from Holland. Long before they could call me madam, I was just a girl who crossed the ocean for a man. I'd met my fiancé in South Africa. And her fiancé comes to pick her up. Is that your baggage? Yeah, sure. My earthly possessions. Oh, do we need this guy, Cap? Oh, no, no, no. Can't wait to meet your parents. She meets the parents. Otherwise, you'll find the calories just pile up. Can't find it in your papier mache heart to accept me as your future daughter in law. You might at least show a little respect for my feelings. In my mother's house, she couldn't do enough to make her guests feel at home, and you can't even lift your finger to put the peanuts on the table. Yeah, mom is kind of a bitch. She gets up, does. Zaviera and leaves. And that's the end of that relationship. So as part of her backstory, she obviously left her fiance, found her own apartment, got a job, and got pawed up by the landlord guy. She gets a job at the Dutch consulate where she meets this guy, a handsome rich man. The man has the audacity to answer me in his native tongue. They spend a lot of time together. Looks like they're becoming a couple, or are they? 239 to be exact. Now, really, uh, You'll see what I mean. He gives her a bunch of money. Absolutely splendid. You make me feel like a whore. I remember how nicely he had treated me that week. How generous he had been giving me all sorts of expensive gifts. And it occurred to me it wouldn't be so bad to have that happen more often. Other information. Well, one thing led to another, and before I knew it, I had made the transition from office girl to working girl. So she's going to become a hooker. First thing she gets is uh, hired to do like a strip tease for a guy. It's a lucrative business for her. Talents were so in demand and the pay scale so fantastic that in just a few months my personal savings account had grown by leaps and bounds. She gets oh, hassled. But you think you got it all between one thing that's protection. And I want to give you protection. Because she'll never need it. That's Richard Lynch as the cop. She doesn't want a cop as protection, so she hooks up with a madam. Lynch comes in special <laughs> She's special, all right. Problem client. You know, I called you all the way from Atlanta to advise you exactly what I wanted. Yeah. Well, this young lady is refusing to participate. Guess who steps up? Atlanta's a long way. Well, I think that Mr. Garfield has come too far to be disappointed. Don't you, Mr. Garfield? Basically, he wants a threesome with a black woman and her. Interesting client here. She's so successful there, she decides to open her own business. I took with me some of Madeline's best girls. The clients followed, and I was on my way. Hey! I think they're fags. Who? Oh. Bert and Ernie on Sesame Street. I don't believe it. Her old madam decides to sell out to her, too. You took six of my best girls already. What do you think I am a blood man? Who did you find out? It's not possible. For Madam in New York, but managing the business at all hours made it almost impossible for me to take an active part in the life of my house. I didn't even have the time or energy to enjoy my own Christmas party. Some new clients come into the uh, brothel. 
But Zaviera oh, thinks they're cops okay. and doesn't trust them. See, we got French, we got Greek, we can take you around the world. But she opened her mouth. Police, you're under arrest. Maybe, but I'm a good lawyer. What, two grand apiece sounds good to you? You'd prefer six months in jail? Hmm? I'm cold. Our movie ends with uh, Zaviera and some of her ladies. Looks like they're probably going to reopen a new brothel. Alright, one of my earliest beta tapes, uh, way back in like 1985, maybe even 84, was uh, a Kodak tape which featured a hacky Happy Hooker trilogy. The Happy Hooker, the Happy Hooker Goes to Washington, and the Happy Hooker Goes Hollywood. I don't know if I ever even really watched them though, but... Um, I ended up watching them years later. Um, they're okay. Uh, the first movie here, The Happy Hooker, which we just watched, uh, is a based on the novel or book by um, Xaviera Hollander, which uh, Lynn Redgrave plays in this in this movie. And it's a true story uh, about her. She was born in 1943. She came over from Holland, I guess, and became a Dutch consulate. And eventually she started working as a prostitute. She became very successful, opened up her own brothel, got arrested in 1971, and then, I don't know if she actually did any more hookering after that, but she was kicked out of the country, but then she lived in Toronto for a while, and then she made a, a movie called My Pleasure is My Business, which I might have. I'm not 100% sure I do. Um, and then, of course, there was the Happy Hooker movies. She wrote a bunch of books. She would appear on TV here and there, and um, she's still alive today. I think she's 77 years old, so that would be right, actually, with the math. So anyway, that's the Happy Hooker. So basically, what I just explained to you about the Happy Hooker's life is what happened in this movie. We just see her rise from a girl who came over with her, or she was supposed to get married to her fiancé, broke it off when her parents were assholes, and um, started her own business, Lynn Redgrave. Um, actually, I think it was a good choice for this movie because she plays kind of a strong character, strong woman. She's got kind of that deep, throaty voice, too. It just seemed realistic. Now, for a movie like called The Happy Hooker, there's actually not a ton of nudity in this movie, although there is some. Um, not from Lynn Redgrave herself, though. Um, Anita Morris, I think, is an actress. She had a couple of nude scenes in this movie. The only thing I remember her from is Ruthless People. She played Danny DeVito's kind of girlfriend, the one who was actually trying to blackmail him. Um, she, uh, she has some nude scenes in this movie. And, um, uh, there's a few other ones as well. I don't know. It's, it's an okay movie. It's more of a drama. Not really a comedy, I think it was supposed to be. Um, that lady who was talking about Bert and Ernie and, uh, Sesame Street, that was kind of funny. Um, but yeah, not much more to tell about this movie. Um, I have it on this Happy Hooker trilogy. It has all three movies on it. I don't know if this has been released on Blu-ray or not. I can't remember, but I think the DVDs are good enough for me. But anyway, that's it. Like I said, two more sequels were on the way. Different actress played, uh, Xaviera in all three of these movies. I don't think the other two movies had anything to do with, uh, Miss Hollander's actual life, but, um... So they, they just continue the story. So anyway, I'll be doing those in the next week or so. And uh, until then, enjoy The Happy Hooker. Let me know if you've seen it. Leave some comments down below. If you're interested in buying this movie, I'll leave a link to Amazon for you to buy it. You should do that. Watch it. Bye. Leave some comments. I can make you happy. I can turn you on.